offshore wind farms are becoming increasingly comprehensive and complex and are being built further offshore. We are seeing a clear trend of increasingly heavier and larger foundations. Quality standards for basic materials and the welding joints of monopiles are also becoming more strict with more stringent requirements. This has created a demand not only for high welding speeds, but also for high quality, increased process capabilities and flawless welding joints. Production of monopiles, the giant steel foundations for offshore wind turbines, is a fascinating feat of engineering and precision. The production process of monopiles involves several stages, from design to fabrication and installation. Before production begins, engineers and designers create detailed specifications for the monopiles based on site-specific conditions, wind turbine specifications, and geotechnical data from the seabed. The design considers factors such as water depth, soil conditions, wind loads, and the weight and dimensions of the wind turbine to ensure a stable and durable foundation. It all starts with thick steel plates, typically around 40-60 mm thick. These plates are specially designed for offshore use with high strength and corrosion resistance. Using massive rolling mills, these plates are stretched and shaped into cylindrical sections. Imagine flattening out a soda can and then rolling it out into a long tube, but on a much larger scale. The rolled plates are then joined together to form the main body of the monopile. This is where high-tech automated welding comes in. Specialized welding machines precisely align and fuse the plates together creating strong, watertight seams that can withstand the harsh ocean environment. Once welded, the monopile undergoes rigorous non-destructive testing NDD, to ensure the welds are perfect and free of defects. Any imperfections can compromise the entire structure. To protect against corrosion, the monopile is coated with a thick layer of protective paint or a special anti-corrosion system. This coating is crucial for ensuring a monopile's long lifespan in the salty seawater. Additional components like internal platforms and lifting lugs may be attached depending on the specific project requirements. Throughout the fabrication process, quality control measures are implemented to ensure that the monopiles meet the required specifications and standards. Non-destructive testing methods, such as ultrasonic testing and magnetic particle testing, are often employed to detect any defects.
Finally, the completed monopile is transported to the offshore wind farm site and installed using a specialized vessel. A giant hammer drives the monopile deep into the seabed, providing a solid foundation for the wind turbine to be mounted on. After installation, additional quality checks and inspections are conducted to ensure that the monopile has been properly installed and meets the required standards. The production process for monopiles requires careful coordination between design, fabrication, and installation teams to ensure the successful and reliable foundation of offshore wind turbines. Advances in technology and construction methods continue to influence and improve the efficiency of this process. The entire production process is highly automated and computer controlled to ensure accuracy and efficiency. Monopiles can be incredibly large, reaching over 100 meters in length and weighing hundreds of tons. You can look at this photo to see how big monopiles are today. The production of monopiles is a vital part of the growing offshore wind industry, which is playing a key role in the transition to renewable energy. Install wind power at sea. Installing wind power at sea, also known as offshore wind power, offers several unique advantages over land-based wind farms. Stronger and steadier winds. Offshore winds tend to be stronger and steadier than onshore winds because they face less friction from buildings and vegetation. This translates to more consistent electricity generation with higher capacity factors. Larger turbines. Stronger winds allow for the installation of larger turbines, which can harness more wind energy per turbine, boosting overall power output, reduced visual impact. Placing turbines out at sea significantly minimizes their visual impact on land, reducing potential concerns about aesthetics and noise pollution for nearby communities. Land use efficiency. Offshore wind farms don't take up valuable and space that can be used for agriculture, housing, or other purposes. This is particularly beneficial in densely populated areas with limited land availability. Marine Ecosystem Considerations While concerns exist about potential impacts on marine life, carefully chosen offshore locations may even offer protective habitat for certain species compared to the disturbance caused by coastal development. Additionally, the lack of visual and noise pollution can be beneficial for some marine animals. However, offshore wind power also comes with some challenges. Higher installation and maintenance costs. The complex marine environment presents challenges for installing and maintaining turbines, making them more expensive than onshore counterparts. Accessibility and grid connection. Delivering the generated electricity to the mainland grid requires building undersea cables, which can be costly and complex. Environmental impact. 
Potential impacts on maritime navigation, fish stocks, and underwater ecosystems need to be carefully assessed and mitigated through proper planning and monitoring. Overall, the decision to install wind power at sea involves weighing the advantages and disadvantages in the specific context of a region's energy needs, environmental considerations, and economic feasibility. Despite the challenges, the significant potential for clean and renewable energy generation combined with technological advancements is driving continued growth in offshore wind power worldwide.